Hi everyone, welcome back to another part of the video. So, let's start shipping these things out. I said I was going to go to bed at 10.30 and it's already like 10.15, so obviously that is not going to happen. Um, and I have to get up at like 6.15, so I'm not thrilled, but it's okay. I would probably just sit up watching YouTube videos anyway, so it's fine. Alright, but I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get everything, but we'll just have to see. I'm actually just gonna start with my only eBay sale for two days. I was on fire with eBay for a while, but not the past two days. But Marrakesh, I'm not gonna show you the brands that well, but I do try to show them the best in haul videos. Again, if I'm going too fast or too slow or whatever, you can choose to speed me up or slow me down. You just hit like the settings button in the top right corner, and then you can adjust the speed from there to your preference, or you can just keep it regular. So this, I have a Super 28. Um, I got this at a consignment store bag sale. Uh, I would have picked it up at Goodwill, but I listed for 28. I signed an offer for $22, and that was or 20% off at $22. And that was accepted, so I was happy to have, finally have to sell on eBay after the a little bit of a drought there. But I think every day this month, I'm, I, I've had to sell on Poshmark, and that was my only non-sale day on eBay this entire month. So I'm very pleased with that. So that's because I think I've been like listing more and all that. So that seems to be helping which, I mean, that would obviously make sense. I think at my scale, I would argue that listing more results in more sales. Well, actually, I could argue against that as well because um, sometimes if you don't, this is over pound, but it's still gonna ship ground advantage, I believe. So I'm just gonna put it, but I'm gonna actually see the pricing before I um, like seal this, but I'm gonna put it in there for now. The good thing is after this video, I, I like I feel like so accomplished, but then I have to make all the eBay labels, and that's like annoying. All right, I these sold first, but these are Ufus. Um, that's the logo for them, Ufus. There. So this is my second time finding this brand, and second time I sold. Both times I've sold very fast. I actually found another pair of black clogs. They also sold for forty two. These sold for forty five. These are a little bit more of a harder to find print. So I listed these at sixty. I got a forty five dollar offer. I happily accepted that. They sold in probably a week less or a week less than two weeks but maybe a little bit slightly over a week i don't really know but um so i got i've got these at goodwill they have them marked as like children's shoes or like slippers or i can't remember but i paid three dollars for them so that was amazing but i would definitely like look out for this brand for sure in the future like i would recommend picking it up if you see it and it's in like good condition because it seems to be a trend brand right now it's a hot seller so they're expensive people know I like they don't really feel like the, the, I don't look at them and be like oh those would be expensive shoes but they look extremely comfortable to wear and I've heard like amazing things about them from people that do wear them so I could imagine why somebody would try to find them on the resale market so let me know if you like what I'm saying so I have to, the stool I sit on is upstairs, and I just don't feel like bringing it down, so I'm standing up. I actually don't, I don't sit down when I'm packaging stuff, like, off camera. I stand up, but if you like me sitting down better, let me know. Um, I'm trying to find my label for this. There it is. So, 45 my earnings was $36, my profit was 33 so love that so much. Alrighty. These are a pair of Chacos. These are size six. They're like a black, white, speckled color. So I can't remember how fast these sold for, but I think these were my sisters. She got them at a garage store for three dollars, and she, both of my sisters, just do not like this Chacos. They don't think they're comfortable. So they have like they've had a few pairs, and then they've given me all of them. I don't think they. I think one of my sisters owns one pair, just for in case she goes hiking. But uh, the other one did, does not wear them. I have a pair of Chacos, but they're not like this classic style they're like a waterproof sneaker i use for hiking um and i actually do like those but i i have tried on like this style in the men and i didn't like them either i just don't think they're comfortable and like the rope gives me like blisters uh, they're just like and people are like oh you have to like get your foot used to wearing them like absolutely not i'm not no because blisters are the most uncomfortable like no i'm just not doing that so um 
I bought a pair of common projects for myself at the buy sell trade store for like thirty dollars, and I so I was like concerned because they were hurting my feet. But after a while, like I ha I'm, I've gotten used to them by now. The common projects are fine now, but at first I thought I was gonna end up like selling them, but now they're fine. So I guess like, maybe that's what I mean. But since I already have the other chacos hiking shoes I want, and I would not like wear Chacos like out and about somewhere, I have my Birkenstocks. I'm gonna choose my Birkenstocks, my rubber Birkenstocks, any day of the week. So I list these for 40, and I got an offer for 35, which was such a great offer. I list my Chacos anywhere from like 35 to 40 dollars, uh, usually depending on like the colorway. Some colors are more rare, but uh, yeah. I feel like okay, that I think that was the right label. Yeah, that's, yeah. So my earnings were $25. My sister got to run a grocery for three, so my profit was 22, I guess. Um, okay, another pair of Chacos. I don't know why I sold so many Chacos, but I'm not complaining considering that we're about out of sandal season. But um, yeah, usually when I sell Chacos, like it's so weird, like at any brand. Also, I only have, um, I have one pair of Chacos right now, but I have like a rack where I put all my chalk, like I have my shoe racks behind me, but over to my, I guess maybe your right, or my left, my left, over to my left, I have them all four of them on like the bottom row. And every time I sell one, the next thrifting trip, I find one. And I, and it's been like that for like the past like three pairs I found. It's so weird and I don't know why, but uh, now that these two have sold, um, uh, we'll see if I find another two, but there's, or three, I, no, I have two left, so but let's see if I find another two, because these are the best sold. So, these are from the Brunello Cuccinelli when I found all that. Like, I probably mentioned that haul in the past three ship with you videos, but every time, every, like, so many things have a haul, have sold. So, that was, like, such a good haul. Like, they're just, a lot of it is just fast movers. I'm waiting for the designer stuff to sell, because usually the higher priced items take a little bit longer to sell, but, I mean, not always, but that's the case usually for me. My earnings were, all right, my, I listed them for 40. My 16% off offer was $33 with discounted shipping. So my profit was 24, 38. I think these were awesome with this kid's shoes or like sandals or, or flip flop, I don't know. Um, typically like even though they, they'll have like, they know, I feel like they know that the adult shoes, like when the, the sandals or whatever are like kids, um, I think they know that they're adults, but they don't want to price them out like adult shoes for like $8. I mean, actually the people that found them at, like I actually don't see them doing that because their prices have been like outrageous lately and they like to charge like the most possible that they can. So I don't actually don't see them doing that. But the other Goodwill I do like that's actually in the same branch. So they'll like mark like sandals or clogs or like flip flops or something as like kids shoes to make the prices lower. So I was surprised that this um, did them, but maybe they just, I don't know, maybe it was somebody, because I know sometimes they'll go back and forth between the Goodwills, so it might have been somebody subbing for the day or whatever. So, oh, last pair of shoes, these are Corky's. If you can see that label there, Corky's. Again, I try to show them the best I can in haul videos, but again, like I said, you can adjust the speed, but these are a clog style with a strappy. These are super cute. I found another pair of these, but I list these for $50, and I got an offer for $35, which I did accept. Again, we're moving out of the season up shortly, so I'm accepting a lot of offers on my summer items. So, uh, these were size 9, very cute. I have another pair. So, I got these at the Buy, Sell, Trade clearance uh, sale. I have actually no idea how they didn't sell, because both pairs I got were so cute, and there's like, just like some like light signs of wear, but like nothing like major. Um, and then I got, or then I got an offer for 35 on them. So I was super happy with those. I thought the other ones were going to sell faster because they had been getting more attention. But again, uh, these ones did sell. So they sold first. So I bet the other ones will shortly sell, sell shortly. Um, so I would not be surprised because yeah. Alright, so my earnings were $28, I believe. Um, if I can find my label. Yep. And my profit was $25 in a few weeks, or maybe two weeks or something. Or actually, I don't think it was two weeks. I think it was like a week and a half, probably, if that, honestly. So I hope the buyer likes them. Because 
I did. It's one of my favorite items. This like clog style with like the studs always sells fast for me, like in any brand. So I don't know why. It's like it just does so well. But Corky's I haven't had the best of luck with, but these did so well. So all right, that is all for shoes. So now we're gonna move on to clothing. This was a great sale. I paid a dollar for this in Springfield, Illinois Goodwill because it was the dead of summer. It's Aaron Crafts and it's a fisherman style, like chunky knit, 100% merino wool sweater. So this particular brand, I'll just go ahead and show you guys it. There's the tag for it, if you can. Um, so, so incredibly well. It's a blue color fisherman style. Um, for me, like at least for me, it sells so well, like, yeah, this took probably two weeks to sell, um, and we're like, it's 90 degrees here today. Actually, it was 100 degrees here today, so I'm not really sure where this is going. I'll try to find the label for it, just so you know where this is going. Yeah, so it's going to Minnesota, which, like, makes sense. Um, I bet it's still warm there, too, but eventually it will be cold there, and people will need their sweaters. So, um, yeah, I listed for $65, I paid a dollar, and it sold for a full price today. Or, actually, I think yesterday, but... Um, whatever. I love this, like, blue color, too. So, actually, this this brand does have, like, a bit of sentimental total value to me because it was my first sale ever over $50. And I got it in a bag sale and paid, um, I think, like, like 75 cents or something crazy. Like, it was really good, but... So, yeah, that was really really exciting okay I need a box for this one because my um mailer won't fit it so I will take a $51 profit in two weeks like when I'm paying a dollar all day long, like that is so good. So since this is a little bit of a more like packed down package, before I put on my label, I'm gonna use these priority mail sticker things. I haven't ordered more of them. I about these are my I literally am about to use my last two on this because last time I ordered these, they gave me the wrong things, or maybe I ordered the wrong things. I, they probably, I probably honestly ordered the wrong things, so I need to order the correct ones. But I do really like these, and I use them often. So, there we go. And see, that way, I, I try to put those on first, because usually that, um, this sticker would cover up where the label is supposed to go. I mean, technically the label, I don't think really has to go there, but that's like, I guess, or it recommends you to put the label, which I always put it there. So that way, once I put on the label on top of it, I mean, I obviously can't show you because it has like the person's address or whatever. Um, it wouldn't be like covering up the label. So, all right, this was a great sale. It just has like a loose thread. I need to clip off real quick. It's not like a, yeah, it's just like a loose thread. Okay, this is like a, like a herringbone, like a high end box swap with Heather the Canary Closet. I sold something from her in, like, I think a few videos ago. It was a scarf. That's up for 60. So everything that Heather sent me was, like, really good. So this was also really good. So it did take a, like, I think a, a few months to sell because it was, like, a more of a wintry item. I did list this for $100. The brand is Jason Wu. And I still, I got offered for $75, which I happily took. So my earnings were $60 and my profit was $60 because I really didn't, I mean, I did pay something for the stuff that Heather, I sent Heather, but, uh, obviously, um, I made my money back by now on that stuff that I sent her, so I hope she has too with the stuff I sent her, so, yeah. I just have, like, a few things I made sell from her still. Um, some of it is, like, listed high because they are super designer brands, so... I have like some, I have a few things listed for like over $200, like it was, if you haven't watched that video, definitely do that. I forgot how to like link up, oh, that's not the right thing. Um, I forgot how to link over at the top, but you can just like, I guess, go find it if you scroll through my feed. Somebody's gonna wear this in Texas, which like, I feel like that's gonna be hot, but like, I'm also like not about to say anything either because... 
it was a seventy-five dollar sale, so I'm just gonna like pretend like like that person's making. Maybe this person's like gonna wear it somewhere. I got a message about a recent sale, which I don't like that when that happens. Hey, this was a shocking sale. I was so surprised. So these are frame jeans. There's the brand F A R M E, like a picture frame. And these are just straight leg jeans with like this angled distressed raw hem and a size 30. So I got these in Chicago and they were six, eight dollars with a half of color or something. So I paid four dollars for them. And I found so many frame jeans that day. And honestly, when it says like the lay high skinny, I automatically passed. But these were the lay high straight. They were size 30 and they had that asymmetrical hem, which I thought was a nice touch. So I was like, okay, let me at least like you know, I didn't even look up comps on them if I'm being honest. I'm like, okay, these can probably at least give me like $30. Well, so I really couldn't find that many listed for them. And I couldn't find any size like 30 or something, or I don't know, or like, I can't remember the reason, or the ones that was on a size 30 was like listed for like over $100, which was just like too much. So I listed mine at 65 and I was expecting to like have them sit for a while and I'll probably like, I'll drop the price and they'll eventually sell for 30. So like, I'm like, well, maybe I should have just, so when I think that sometimes I'm like, well, maybe I should have just like listed it at like, a reasonable price to begin with, then the buyer would have, um, then they would sell faster. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't think the smartest. Anyways, so I was for $65 and I got, I sent out an offer today for $54. Um, that was accepted. I was shocked. I was like, what? Like frame jeans for $54 as a sale? Like that like never happens for frame. Like usually it's like the $25 mark. And usually I don't find styles like this either. So they're usually like the skinny jeans, which I usually pass on frame. But yeah, so I'm gonna like, honestly, like, like, I don't think I sleep. Okay, wait. The good thing about these tie back envelopes is like, I can still peel off like the label because this is not gonna fit in the label. I can peel off the label, stick it on the box and it's still gonna be sticky. So like, I won't have to like, this label is not coming. Yeah, that's not gonna come off. So, uh, so like, even though like I don't really like frame all that much, I'm gonna try to like. I mean, I don't honestly I don't think I would have even got these if they were like a size 24 or something. But since they were size 30, I was like, okay, I might as well try. And it, honestly, just like the color and style of them. So, yeah. So I was very, I'm super happy about this sale. I'm very surprised. So I think my earnings for those were $41. So I probably made like around uh, like 37, right? This is a Lululemon just like t-shirt. This is like more of an updated style because of like this like scoop neck. I don't really think that's like the most popular and like whatever, but I got this for $6 at the Buy, Sell, Trade appearance event. Uh, and when I brought it home, my sister was like, why did you buy that? That's ugly. And like, I was like, okay, you know, you're, you, I probably shouldn't have bought it and I shouldn't have bought it, but I bought it. Um, but it sold in like about, about two weeks for $20. So I paid $6 for that. And I'm just like not looking for a $10 profit margin right now. Um, so yeah, but it did sell fast. I, I mean, I am fine with a smaller profit margin if it sells fast, but not if it takes a while to sell. So this did sell fast, so I guess that's great, but uh, yeah. So the thing, I think the thing that made me want to buy this was because it was like a t-shirt and not the tank top. And the t-shirts from Lululemon like sell well for me and this did sell well. So um, I mean, I guess that wasn't like a huge like difference. Like it did sell, still sell fast. So um, I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it, but like, I need to start making better decisions. Just because I like the brand new lemon doesn't mean I always need to pick it up. But I have been getting pickier with it, so I've been proud of myself. So, right. Speaking of which, this is a style I would pick up from Lou Lemon, and these are. That's the logo. If you've never seen it, where is it? I show it in like every one of my videos. If you can see there. And these are the base pace ribbed leggings and it's 23 inch. So they're a little bit cropped, but my sister got these at Goodwill. Um, actually, yeah. And the price was $2.48 for these. Um, at a Goodwill, I don't go to that often, but it's probably the Goodwill I go to like the third most. Um, but I go to two the most often and one of them I go like to like at least once a week. 
Um, so, one of them's my favorite. The price is low, they have great brands. Not to say that other Goodwills don't, but I just found like, I feel like I found my best stuff, like, at that Goodwill that has the pricing low. The Brunella Cuccinelli haul, like, I actually found that at, like, the second Goodwill that had, like, starting to raise their prices, but, uh, I'm still, like, not mad about it, so, I mean, like, it's fine. Alright, so, I list these for $65 a few days ago because my sister gave them back to me to sell because she don't want them anymore. And they sold full price to a Google Buy for $65. So my earnings were 50 or my earnings were 52. Profit was $50. I love selling Lululemon, the like current styles, because they do so well for me. So it's my best selling brand by far. I ship out a Lululemon every week. I find a Lululemon probably every week. So it's a popular brand in my area. So you can like walk, I mean, you can just like walk down the hallway at my school and like see like so much Lululemon, it's crazy. All right, this sat forever, and I don't know why it's really cute. It's a jumpsuit ruffle, it has like tank ruffle straps, and it's new with tags by Madewell. It is a size two, but I just I like the style of this, and I remember I was really excited when I found this. Uh, and the comps, like I, from what I remember, they were good, but yeah. Anyways, I accepted a $26 offer on this, and I was happy to move it out, because it's, had, it's been with me for probably over a year now, and this is like a more like summery item, I think. So I definitely did not uh, want to counter that offer. So I was happy with, I'm like, I'm not like, I was like fine. I was fine with that. I wasn't like happy with this sale because I was like, I don't know why I sat, but it did. And that's okay. That's what happens sometimes. Something, just cause you think something's gonna sell well, doesn't mean it will. So, um, so my earnings were $20.80. And my profit, I paid about five dollars for this. My profit was fifteen dollars and eighty cents. So again, smaller profit margin, but I do not like that because it did take a year to sell. So had it taken, you know, three days to sell, I would have been like, okay, that's like a great, but that's great. But since it took longer, I'm like, okay, no. Um, a long time for me is like eight months or over. A short time for me is like under like two months, I'd say. And then a super fast sale is like two weeks for me. Um, so yeah, that's just like, I know everybody runs their business different. So just because I think something's a faster slow sale doesn't mean that you uh, think it will, I would like whatever, you know, I'm trying to say. All right, that is everything. So let's go to the next. All right, I just wanted to, um, I guess, pop in for a portion of the ship with me video. This is actually August 16th when I'm shipping this out. But I, I had a bundle sale from I, what I think is a viewer. So I just obviously wanted to um, include that. So this is a J. Crew. Um, uh, this is a J. Crew like great, beautiful green, like leather bag. And this reminded me of like an Hermes, or an Hermes bag because it has like this like class, which like it just reminds me of Hermes. But um, it was not. It's J. Crew, which is still a reputable brand, and it came with a dust bag, but not a crossbody strap. But somebody can always attach their own on or just wear it as is. I think I was actually the shoulder strap to like be worn as a satchel. But I uh, got this at a garage sale for three dollars, and I listed it for thirty five because it did because it had some like marks at the bottom, which I photographed or I put on my listing. So it has it's a good size dust bag. So what I'm gonna do is I have this really big box. So what I'm gonna do is I which I didn't think I need one this big, but I, I guess I do. So I'm gonna line it with paper. And then I'm gonna put the J. Crew bag in first. I hope it'll fit nicely. Which it looks like it will. So perfect. And then I hope this is under five pounds, but if it does not, it's not a big deal at all. I would just upgrade the shipping label. And this sold very fast. She actually commented, I believe it was her, she commented about this, uh, asking when it was gonna be listed, which I I usually have all my stuff um listed before a haul video. Um, but the my handbags and shoes from the clothes night mentor 90% off, so we're not. And this is a Kuba K-O-O-B-A. Um like this is like a beautiful basket weave uh, leather, like with like braiding details. This is really high quality bag, just really well made. And I had never heard of the brand before. 
but I think she said it was uh, discontinued and that their bags were pretty expensive to begin with. And it did have like a few marks on it, but I still thought it was in a really nice condition and it came with the dust bag as well. So uh, this is a crossbody style as well, or not as well, but uh, it's a crossbody style, but it also has a removable strap, I believe. I need to double check. Yeah, it's removable, so you could wear it like that, but I feel like you might wear it as a crossbody. Um, anyways, so I listed this one for 45. I couldn't find this, like, the style of this exact bag, um, but I the comps were a little bit mixed, but that probably retail for 150 to 200 dollars if I had a guess. But I'm again not 100 percent sure. So I think the bundle price with uh 45 plus let's see i just got into school today was my first day of school and this bundle still made my day because it was early in the morning um so i had that 43 plus 35 or 45 plus 35 so that's 80 and then i got my I had a 15 percent bundle discount but then she offered me $57, which was a great offer. So I was so excited to take that. And last of my favorite Thinky stickers that look like that, I need to order some. But right now I'm using these free ones, which are like honestly like a little bit girly for me, but like I don't really care because they're free and that's what it looks like. So I'm very happy. Two Thinky stickers that I'm gonna package up right now. So I really hope that you like them if you happen to be watching this video, uh, because I, I, both of those were honestly more of a style-based pickup than a brand-based pickup, but when I do style-based pickups, I do like to have like a brand help carry them. So even though I did like that J. Crew bag, J. Crew is obviously like a more, it's like a reputable brand that people know and people... I guess, like, so, um, but had it been, like, Target or something, I don't think I would've got it, and it had the quality aspect of it being leather, um, and I really liked the color, and just, like, the overall, like, Hermes-esque style, so I think this is still under five pounds, but I'm gonna weigh it just in case, I don't know, I'm just gonna risk it, because it's right at five pounds, and the only thing they do is they just, um, and I used to be able to get away with it a lot more. I'd send, like, I used to sell, I sold, um, two, like, shoe mystery boxes back when I had a lot of inventory and I just couldn't process it all. Those, this was probably over a year ago. And I sent, like, 15, 15 pound boxes for, like, just the regular shipping because Poshmark never used to get, um, like, mad at you, I guess, for, uh, upgrading or not upgrading the labels i mean they always said to upgrade the labels but they never said anything but i think ever since they like sold the company um they've been cracking down about that a little bit more but we'll just have to see how this it is but worst case scenario they'll just charge me for what i was supposed to pay but it's like literally right at five it's like five pounds and a few ounces so i feel like it, it's fine but thank you so much to this viewer and i really hope you enjoy the bags because i love the styles of them but then i had uh, two other sales that I'm, i just packaged up normally this was a pair of eileen fisher pants that sold for like uh 37 dollars with discount shipping in a few days i paid a dollar for those and this is a pair of blue lemon leggings for 63 but they're the black camo and a size 12 they're just like wonder under um ankle length ones and those for 63 so pretty good sales uh three sales on one day so that i'm very happy about so yeah Thank you.